Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. I'm going to set the stage for our conversation with two candidates who are looking for your vote, a Democrat and Republican. First, the district we're looking at, and it's a new one this year. Take note, this is District 90. And let me just show you where we are. This is basically 640 that, that encompasses it. I-40 running right here, I-75 here. 90 is the pink district here. It was newly created with the redistricting. So you can see where it goes. Whittle Springs all the way out west, West Hills out there. That's the district we're talking about. Let's meet the candidates. Joining us this morning, Democrat, Democrat Gloria Johnson. She's a current state representative. And also her challenger, Republican David Posey. We are pleased to have both of you with us this morning. This is my colleague, John North, and I'd like to get started with this question. And David, let's start with you. Give us your reason for running and why you're the best candidate for this office. Well, the reason that I'm running, I had no intentions of ever running. And um, what happened was, is my opponent's tweets about a year and a half ago, um, I had um, seen some of her tweets that were talking about uh, how she had to apologize for our state and the, the hate in our state. And it really just kind of got to me. And I didn't understand why. Then I look in, you know, for, further on and I see that she is a, um, you know, a, a former school teacher and a um, state representative. And then I saw some of the other name calling on, on Twitter that just really wasn't, I just didn't understand how somebody representing a community would do that. So anyway, lo and behold, um, you know, I'm from uh, West Knoxville. Grew up uh, blue collar. My dad had a, had a had a business in the mulch business and drove tractor trailers, dump trucks, and so on. A matter of fact, Chuck's uh, Gloria's uh, brother Chuck dated a girl who lived right next door to me growing up. So um, anyhow, so lo and behold, that's that's where we are now. I've been in uh, real estate for 18 years and um, got uh, real, learned that uh, as of March 30th of this year, nobody was running against Gloria. And then I went and got my petition and. You know, been a been a Republican since 1992 in voting. So here I am, and uh, worked hard to to get to this uh, juncture uh, as we speak. Appreciate it. Thanks for the introduction, Representative Johnson. You're running again. Why? Well, absolutely. The reason that I'm running is because we are still we still have an expanded Medicaid. We still have 300,000 Tennesseans that desperately need access to health care. We're in a situation right now where women are not considered equal citizens in the state of Tennessee. We are all across the board when it comes to um, abortion and choice in the state of Tennessee. But what we know is 80% of Tennesseans believe that there should be something, whether it be exceptions for life of the mother, rape, incest, human trafficking, but we have to make sure that women are not second-class citizens and we've got to make sure that every classroom is well resourced and that that teachers and school staff are making the salaries they deserve and we have not done that yet gloria and dave uh, there are a lot a lot of things we want to talk about gloria you just hit on some of them but let's go back to uh, uh sort of dave's opening salvo because he raises a point in his campaign literature uh, against you gloria uh, in regards to your status in the legislature and whether you've been able to get anything and whether you've been effective dave why don't you address that and then gloria can respond sure exactly so what I understand is, is you know, she's been there for the past four years, you know, and, and folks, if you're looking for term limits, here's an you know opportunity for that as far as in voting, voting for me. But, you know, in, in 26, you know, it's so over 26 in passing bills. And one of the things is in real estate, you have to you have to negotiate contracts, right? So I've negotiated thousands of contracts and, and you can't be saying the word fight, being extremist, being posturing and grandstanding. You've got to be able to work with folks. And that's where I've been able to work across the aisle and meet with folks and be able to work with them to be able to get something passed. You know, uh, my opponent, from what I understand, even Democrats, even Democrats across the board, a lot of them, even in this uh, supermajority of Republicans, are still able to get um, bills passed because they work together. And I know September 2nd, Gloria, uh, my opponent, had a, uh, a, a video out that she said she worked with with the Republicans and it was an understanding and so on. And from what I understand is that's not the case. And so I want to be that person that's in the district, not in Hamilton County or Rutherford County and all these other counties, but in the district 
shaking hands with these folks. I go door knocking and I door knock every day for four hours. And I talk to these folks and they tell me that they have never had an oppo a political opponent, I mean, a political figure ever come to their door. And I said, well, that's what I wanna do. I wanna be in this district for you. There's 99 other districts. The 90th district is where I wanna be to focus on. And that is my whole entire premise mm -hmm. is to help this district. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gloria, uh, you wanna respond? Absolutely, because you know, when you have a supermajority, they have the ability to stop any legislation. And the fact that I may not pass some, I have co-sponsored legislation. I have also had my legislation stolen word for word by a representative and put, took my legislation that I worked on with a constituent to help get more teachers in the classroom, put their name on it and pass it and kill mine, kill my same bill. I, I worked on the legislation. I worked on it with a constituent, a colleague across the aisle took my bill word for word after I had gotten uh, work with the Board of Education and the department to get it in the posture they wanted it in. And he took my bill word for word, put his name on it, and they passed his and they killed mine. They don't kill my legislation because it's bad, because my legislation is supported by the majority on both sides of the aisle when you talk to people in the community. Representative Johnson, what, what, what bill they was that? To... Just, for the, just for the record, what, what was the bill number and who, who was the one who um, took, took your it bill? Was, it was uh, a bill that allowed teachers who had gone to another state and come back. We usually have reciprocity. If you live in Kentucky, you come to Tennessee. If you have a valid Kentucky license, then you can teach here. But there's a weird, there was a weird glitch in the law where if you lived in Tennessee first and you went to Kentucky and came back, if your Tennessee had expired, even if your Kentucky was current, they couldn't teach. Fair so there enough. were a lot of teachers and who out stole, there in that situation. Who, uh, and John, can, Reagan, okay. John Reagan took that bill okay. and put his name on it and passed it. All right, we've got to take a quick break on Inside Tennessee. We're going to get to more specific issues. We'll be back right after this short break. <laughs> 